Well, May is National Better Hearing Month, and at least 20% of U.S. adults at some point in their life, they have a problem with hearing, balance, speech, or language. Now, communication disorders can affect many aspect of, aspects of a person's life. So joining us now is Dr. Mike Sevilla from the Family Practice Center of Salem. Good morning, Dr. Mike Sevilla. Welcome in. Good morning. So we're focusing today on hearing loss. What are some important things that you want people to know about that? Well, it being Mother's Day today, I mean, it's always a good time to kind of check in with your mom, have your Mother's Day, Mom. Uh, and, uh, you know, I have some interesting statistics to share with you about hearing loss. I mean, you know, first, you know, one in six adults you know, d does have some trouble with hearing throughout their lifetime. And, and about 28 million adults could benefit from hearing aids. And we all know that younger people can, you know, they, they do listen to the music too loudly. 50% of them do. Um, and the most important thing on this graphic is, you know, there are no warning signs for hearing loss. There's no pain uh, or anything like that. And, and once you get, uh, you know, hearing loss, you cannot get it back at all. It's really interesting that there are no signs of hearing loss, but what are some things that we can do to prevent hearing loss from happening though? Well, the most important thing, you know, is I tell a lot of my patients, you know, lower the volume, especially those kids that have those earbuds in, uh, you know, the next thing, you know, is to move away from the noise, especially if you're at sporting events or you're at concerts. Um, and, you know, wear those hearing protectors, especially if you're doing yard work. I tell all my patients about that, you know, and, and think about getting that hearing test and audiology test from your favorite audiologist. Um, and can really consider uh, getting those hearing aids. I, I talk to my patients a lot about getting hearing aids. They're very concerned um, uh, about getting hearing aids, but it's great to have that conversation with your doctor. You mentioned the hearing test. How often should people be going to the doctors to get their hearing checked? Well, I mean, you know, I, I tell uh, my patients a lot, especially if they're older, you know, if you notice any kind of concern, go to the uh, your, your hearing doctor to get your hearing test, especially younger people who are getting kind of their sports physical soon. If there is an issue with that, you know, get your hearing test. You know, once you lose your hearing, you never get it back. What about for people who may experience any buzzing or that ringing in their ears? Is that a sign of anything? Yeah, that's a great question. You know, you know hearing uh, uh, that tinnitus or that ringing in your ears, that could be a sign of hearing loss, but not always. But if you have that kind of symptom, check with your doctor right away. All right, a lot of good information. Dr. Mike Sevilla from the Family Practice Center of Salem. Thanks for being with us this morning. Thank you.